Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you Curry Monitor Best Settings Tutorial. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So there's a few settings here or controls so you could actually change for you to get the best experience for your Curry Monitor. So first is going to be the brightness and contrast. So brightness actually controls how light or dark the image appears. So to revert it to a default setting, you need to access the monitor's on-screen menu. This is usually done by pressing a button on the monitor itself, then navigate to brightness settings, and reset it to the default value, which is typically around 50. So if you're unsure, check your monitor's mount and or setting guide for the exact value. Now contrast, uh, this actually adjusts the differences between the light and dark areas of the image. So, in the same menu, find the contrast settings and set it back to the default value, which is often around 50 as well. And again, refer to the manual if you are uncertain. So, using the default values for the brightness and contrast of your Korean monitor is the best setting that you can set for these two values. Now, next is going to be the color correction. So, first is going to be the green channel. So, this settings allows you to adjust the amount of green in the display. So open the menu and look for the color settings or color adjustment. Find the setting for the green channel and reset to the default value, which is usually around 50. We also have the red channel here, so this adjusts the red color balance. So similarly, locate the red channel adjustment in the color settings. Now in this case, set it back to the default value, which is around typically around 50. Next is we want to adjust our gamma. Now, gamma actually allows you, or in this case, this actually affects the overall brightness and contrast balance. So first, navigate to the gamma settings in the monitor's menu. Set it to the default value, which is commonly 2.2 or the standard preset provided in the monitor settings. Now, next you want to change or update is going to be the digital vibrance. So digital vibrance actually controls the intensity of colors. So first, find the digital vibrance setting in the menu. Reset it to the default value, which is usually around 50%. Now, if this isn't explicitly listed, set it to neutral or standard setting. Next is you want to update your hue. So this actually adjusts the color in the tint across the screen. So go to the hue settings in the color menu and set it back to the default value, which is typically around 0% to remove any unwanted tint. Next is you want to actually access the NVIDIA control panel. Now restoring defaults in NVIDIA control panel here is pretty easy. So right click on the desktop and select NV NVIDIA control panel from the context menu. Now, if the NVIDIA control panel to go to uh, in the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust desktop color settings from the menu on the left. Look for the restore defaults button or option. Click this to reset all color settings to their default values. Also, you might want to consider factory resetting your uh, monitor. So if you prefer a quick way to revert everything to default, you could go and open up the monitor menu. So use the buttons on the monitor to open the on-screen menu. Next is you want to navigate through the menu options to find something like factory reset or reset settings. Now select the uh, reset option and confirm and this will restore all settings to the original factory resets. Now in this case, once you follow all the steps that we provided, that would actually revert the original settings for your Korean monitor, which is the best settings that you could get for the Korean monitor. Now in this case, uh, the best settings here would actually depend on your liking. So in this case, if you want to increase or decrease some values, like for example, if you're having problems with uh, certain aspects of your screen, well, in this case, you might want to change the contrast, the brightness, or even the colors. Again, depending on uh, your current situation. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.